today we have two Bernice Mountain dogs that we're going to de-shed and we're going to take a little bit off of them, give them a nice brushing, and they're going to smell so much better. So let's continue. Wow. All that undercoat. Yeah. So before I get them in the tub, I'm going to do some brushing on them to try to release some of that uh, dander, the undercoat. And also we're gonna take some off of them. So it's just gonna help uh, with their time, their dry time, and, oh, look at this already, and the, uh, the quality of their coat. And then after the slicker, I'm gonna use my favorite, which is this thingy. And, but I can't use this just yet because I have to get a lot of that undercoat that's out. Woohoo! you're gonna be fun. So I like this length. I think it's really, it's not too long, it's not too short. And then I'm gonna fade out the legs here. Usually with Bernice Mountain Dogs, is you really don't take too much off, but it's summertime and that's what dad wants to do. I'm not cutting short that uh, the undercoat is affected. So they've already gotten the bath, a blowout, and we brushed them down. Now we're just taking a little bit off of them to shape them up. Draw my ear, please. I've already had. Oh, uh, I had that happen when I first started grooming. We had a um, uh, a Newfoundland and a Saint Bernard in the grooming van. Not mine, but when I was learning, and I reached over to go do this, and the dribble of drool just drew right in my ear, and all I can hear is. Mwah. And we called up the girl that was here and we were like, oh, guess what happened? And oh, it was, it was gross. and they got their full grooming, de-shed, bath, blowout, and a trim up of their body. So I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, you guys are so cute. Come on, boys. Yay! Uh, what do you think of the length on him? I love it, I love good. it. Oh, you so much. Good. You're so, so good. Different. So good boys. Oh yes, the the de-shedding that comes off of them is it, it's we have so much fun with it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Did you know this man? Oh no, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, well, nice yeah, to meet yeah. you guys. Yeah.
Yeah. There is a lot of undercoat. There's so much hair. Yes. Wow. But they did wonderful. Oh, good. I was they did good. Scaredy cat. I was worried about it. It's okay because I would recommend that scaredy cats go with the siblings. Okay. So that's good. Yes, yeah, so. See, oh my God. I, thought it, I thought it was Brock. Ah! <laughs> good job. Let me go get your brother. Oh, there he is. Oh, they don't look that much different. No, they don't. No, they almost look like twins, huh? Yeah, they do. <laughs> They've got great boys. How old are they? Four years old. Four. Good age. Taking off that They're undercoat, like me. I was telling him, they don't have sweat glands. Okay. So they sweat through their mouth, but their coat acts like insulation for hot and cold. So if you remove that layer, their body doesn't know how to properly uh, regulate their temperature. Okay. All right, thank you very All much. All right, I'll yeah. see you guys next time. Bye, boys. Oh, okay. This works. Hi. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll lay down too. Okay, lay down too. How's that? Is that good for you? You've got a lot of undercoat. You're gonna be so much fun. Woo! Oh, okay. Have a seat. <laughs> These, they're great breeds. Ah, oh, there we go. Both of them are sitting on me. Oh, good job. Hi. Hi. My breath stick or something?